Hi everyone, so I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. I have just got back from shopping in the sales with my friend Lucy and I thought I would do a quick haul for you all. Um, we didn't actually end up getting that much stuff. I actually, to be honest, I did get quite a lot of stuff but it was only from two shops. Like the first two hours that we were shopping, we didn't find a thing. It was like hell on earth, it was so busy because it's obviously a bank holiday in the UK today. Um, so all the sales were on, everybody was shopping and we were kind of really disappointed because we couldn't find anything. Um, but then then we went into Zara and we went into Lush and I ended up getting quite a few things so I thought I would do a haul for you all um, and show you what I got. So firstly for the Lush stuff, if you guys don't know, um, after Christmas Lush have a sale of all of their Christmas, um, what would you call them, I guess their special Christmas products that they only do at Christmas. Um, and they're all 50% off and as you also might know if you watch my videos on a regular basis I only really ever shop in Lush at Christmas because um, I love the Lush Christmas stuff um, and I don't really like the normal stuff that much so because I love cinnamon and spicy scents so I ended up getting um, I think I got four Cinder's bath bombs um, which I've featured these in a video before but I'm going to show you again just in case you haven't seen it but if you don't know what these are like they're basically cinnamony and spicy and really really lovely and they look like that they smell amazing oh they're so good and they the only thing is they make your bath go kind of a pea yellow but apart from that they're my favorite lush bath bomb so i got four of those and they were all i think most things i got were half price um i got the melting snowman bath melt which i've also shown in a video before because this is one of my favorites um, this was, I think this was the last one in as well. They, um, he has no nose either. But he just smells really almondy and slightly kind of medicinal smelling, but that's really, really nice. It's definitely one of my favourites. Um, I also got a Phoenix Rising uh, bath bomb, which I have had once before. Somebody recommended it to me the last time I did a Lush haul, and I got one. And this kind of smells, this is also kind of a spicy smell, but it's not so Christmassy. Um, it's not like sweet, it's kind of like spicy and quite a sexy kind of smell, but it looks like that, so I really like that, I got one of those, that wasn't in the sale like I said because it's not the Christmas one, but I got that, um, yeah there's the other cinders one, um, yeah there's the two other cinders bath bombs, and then I also got a couple of things I haven't tried before from the Christmas line, I got So White, um, which... I'm not entirely sure, um, bergamot, neroli and rose, so I guess it's like a calming kind of scent. It smells really nice, really kind of clean, and it just looks like that, which is really plain. But it smells really nice, so I thought I would try that one, because it was 50% off, so why not? And then I also got Christmas Eve bubble bar, which I don't normally go for the bubble bars, I normally go for the bath bombs. But I do like bubble baths, so I thought I would try this one out. I really like the look of it too. The reason why I don't normally get bubble bars is that they don't actually do any scents that are kind of spicy really. They don't do like cinnamony ones, but this smells quite good. I'm not sure what this... Um, it doesn't doesn't say what the scents are. But it's kind of, it's quite a soapy smell. I quite like that. Christmas Eve. Obviously Christmas Eve has been and gone now. Um, and then the last individual thing that I got was um, some snow cake soap, which I'm not going to get out because it's all wrapped up. But this is like the one that is kind of a creamy colour with gold on top. Um, and it smells actually quite similar to the, where's it gone, the Melting Snowman, like quite almondy. And I really like that, so I thought I would try that out. And I haven't really, I've only ever tried like one Lush soap before, so I'm excited to try that. And then. I also got a gift set and these were almost all sold out. There was loads of these ones left and there was like a few others but um, most of the smaller ones had sold out. There were some big ones left that were like the £85 one was still left but I didn't want to get that even though it was 50% off. But I got the Baby It's Cold Outside set and these are meant to be gifts but they're a really good deal when they're in the sale because this was £18.95 and then half price so like £9.50 and you get five products in there. So, really good. You get, I'm going to open it now and show you guys. It seems weird to be like unwrapping something on YouTube. It's like unwrapping a present. Um, yeah, talking of unwrapping stuff, I actually got quite a lot of requests on my Vlogmas channel to do a Christmas haul, like showing my Christmas presents. And I'm kind of unsure whether that's something that 
um, I want to do or whether that's something you guys would want to see. Um, because I don't really want to like brag about stuff I've been given or anything, but then I did one for my birthday, so um, and you guys definitely liked it. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you'll want to see, and then I might show you some of my Christmas presents as well in the next video. Um, but anyway, onto this. Comes in the box like this, and it smells really fruity actually. So in here you got. Um, the toothy tabs, which is the Lush toothpaste, which I'm really unsure about um, trying, but I'm kind of excited. Like I've heard really mixed reviews about them, but I'm excited to actually try them. It's kind of not something that I would have bought individually, but because it's in the set, I was kind of excited that it was in there. And then it comes with a 100ml Glog shower gel, which I actually really like the smell of this. It smells like mulled wine. So it's really good and I love mulled wine so I think I'm probably going to take that to LA when I go to LA because it's a good travel size and then it also comes with the Australian igloo um, scrub sugar scrub and it's sugar, coconut and eucalyptus so that sounds really good it comes in this plastic thing so I'm going to try that and then I've actually wanted to try one of these for absolute ages it comes with the Jilted Elf um, shower jelly which I have never kind of tried a shower jelly before and they seem really weird so I'm kind of excited to try that. This one kind of looks like it's got a bit of jelly everywhere. It smells kind of weird. It smells slightly like alcoholic but yeah I'm excited to try that anyway I think that'll be quite funny and the last thing in here is a piece of soap and it is all the bits are stuck to it. This soap which, I can't remember which soap this is, um, the Snow Globe soap, although this is, it's meant to look like that, with the, um, god, this camera doesn't autofocus, it's meant to look like that with white bits in it, but it's just green. But it smells nice, it's kind of fresh. Yeah, zingy fresh soap it's described as, so that's what was in there, so I'm really excited to try all of that from Lush, and then after we went to Lush, it kind of like broke our shopping kind of gloom, um, I went to Zara and I got a whole bag full of stuff from Zara in the end. So the first thing, this is my favourite thing I think that I bought, is this scarf. And it's just this really, really gorgeous, it's like a dark green colour, like an olive green. And I don't normally go for olive green, but I love this because it's got turquoise sparkle mixed into it. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's actually, um, I'm not sure what you call these, like a loop scarf. It's joined together and I didn't realise until I um, took it into the changing room and tr with all my other stuff to try it on. But I actually really, really love this. I think it's really unusual kind of like that and I don't normally wear um, blue and green a lot so I'm excited to wear that and this was 16 99 it was only it wasn't actually reduced that much it was reduced from 19 99 sorry I'm like leaning over um, it was reduced from 19 99 so it was only three pounds off but I really really loved it and then I also got another scarf um, which is a thick knitted one because it hasn't actually been that cold in the UK this last week but I'm convinced that it's gonna get cold in like January and February so I've got a scarf I love scarves so much this is a kind of like taupey grey colour with sequins in it and I just thought this was really pretty um, I'm just going around like that I thought that was really nice and it's actually like a really warm one as well whereas this one is more of kind of an every like a summer scarf or an whenever it doesn't have to be cold to wear it kind of scarf um, this was the same thing, this was $16.99 reduced from $19.99, so not like amazing savings, but I really liked it. Then I also got, um, the main reason actually I really wanted to go shopping in the sales was because I was looking for um, some plain like black dresses, kind of like basic dresses to put over like leggings and tights and then layer up like little tops or jackets on over them, whatever. Um, because for some reason, I used to have loads from Primark and I, they kind of all fell apart at the same time, so... Um, I was looking for some new ones of those, so I got this one from Zara, which is actually kind of an interesting um, texture. It's kind of like tight material, it's really weird, um, and it's all ruched, like all over, even on the, even on the back. But it's quite form-fitting. I ended up getting a medium because they didn't have a small anyway, so um, I just tried on the medium and it fitted fine. So, um, yeah, I really like that. It's kind of like basic kind of work wear type stuff but I really really like wearing black especially in the winter and then accessorizing it with like nice scarves and jackets and stuff so I love that and that was also um, $16.99 from $19.99 so the sale wasn't like huge reductions but there was a lot of good stuff in there and then finally I got this really cute pink jacket and I absolutely adore this because it has orange lining 
and it has these little blue um, like button details as well and then the little gold zips I just thought this was really really cute and this actually doesn't I don't think it has a tag on it but it was 39 no it was 29 I think it was 29.99 reduced from 39.99 so a bit more of a discount on that one but I just think that's really cute I ended up getting a medium in this as well um, because the small was kind of like it's weird in Zara because I tried on um, am I out of focus? No. Yeah, it's weird in Zara because some of the stuff I tried on, I tried on in a medium and it was huge. Other stuff I tried on in a small and it was too big and then other stuff I'm a medium in. So um, you definitely need to try stuff on in Zara because the size is a bit funny. But um, yeah, I ended up getting a medium in that and I really, really love it. So I think this is going to be good for LA too because um, it's maybe a little bit cold for this in England at the moment. It's more of a, like, a summer jacket because it's got cropped sleeves but um, obviously it's not that cold in LA at the moment so if I just take like little cardigans and jackets and stuff I think that would be good for my holiday and that's it for my haul. Actually that's a lie because I also got a dock for my iPhone but that's really not very exciting so I'm not going to show you guys. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that is it for my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope you guys all had a fabulous Christmas and let me know if you get anything amazing in the sales as well, either in a comment or a video response or whatever. I just, um, I'm obsessed with sales shopping, I'm like a real bargain hunter so um, yeah, let me know if there's any good sales going on that I need to know about. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do a Christmas haul or not. I'd love to know what you think about that. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There's a couple of New Year's videos coming up if you are interested in that. I'm hopefully going to be doing a New Year nail tutorial and a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial as well this week if I get the time because it's been absolutely manic but that's hopefully kind of my plan for this week. Um, yeah, apart from that, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!